Well, well, well. What did we have here today? The Vikings actually beat the evil to the east today. Ha 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 I thought the Packers were too good. I thought they were too good. Too high on that pedestal. Boom. Pushed off of it. Bye. See you later. <laughs> that was weird though. I mean, wasn't it? Wasn't that weird? The Vikings beat the Packers today. 28 to 22. Uh, the Vikings moved to 2 and 5. And the Viking, or excuse me, the Packers, the evil, they moved to 5 and 2. Man, that paladrome. Just there. It's, you guys, what, what was that today? What was that? Honestly. Honestly. Dalvin Cook had four touchdowns, and I, I think he had about 184 yards the game today. Um, Kirky Boy, he was 11 for 14, not throwing the ball. I mean, you guys, I barely had anything written down. Thank you for those of you that joined the live stream, that, uh, you know, popped in, that were hanging out with me there. I live streamed the game today, and... Um, during my pregame, too, I, I, oddly enough, I picked the purple to win 28 to 26, and lo and behold, they won 28 to 22. I mean, I had a weird feeling, and lo and behold, it was full moon, full moon magic that was still lingering in the air. I don't know what it was, but the Vikings managed to win today somehow, and um, I don't know why Dalvin Cook was playing, to be honest. No clue, but apparently... They were playing, playing to win, okay, you know. And as a Vikings fan, I will always, always take a win over the Packers. Of course, of course, it's the best. It's the absolute best, okay, to beat a division rival, especially, especially the evil to the east. Always amazing. We love that. I like that, okay. And um, the one thing, though, with this, all right, the Vikings are still not going anywhere, people, okay? We can enjoy that win as beating, you know, division rival, like I said, you know, the border battle extravaganza. We can take that win. But people, people, stay in the realistic realm with me here. Don't leave. Don't leave. They're not going anywhere, okay? I can just hear it now, and I said it during the live stream, too, that my concern and my worry with this victory now is that it's just going to inflate the hopeful, okay? The purple hopeful are going to think, we got it, we got it. We got the Lions coming up. We got the Bears a couple of times. We got Jacksonville. Those are all winnable games. There's an extra playoff position, an extra playoff spot this year. We can make it. We can make it. There's other teams that started 1-6 and six in the past that made the playoffs. We can do it too. No, no, it's not happening. It is not, do not get your hopes up, people, don't. The thing with this win to me that concerns me is that there's gonna be no real change here, okay? If that game was an indicator on how the rest of this season is going to go for the purple, nothing is gonna change, nothing. There's gonna be no changes. They're just going to wait, oh, do to do until next year. We got Daniel Hunter coming back. That'll probably be good. We got Kirk Cousins signed on. We got Delvin Cook here for a couple more years. We got Rick Spielman here for a couple more years. We got Zimmer for a couple more years. We got it. Everything's just falling into place. No, it's not. You said that years ago. Remember when Cousins was apparently the only missing piece in this on this team to get us to a Super Bowl? And now look where we are. We're in the hamster wheel here, people. That's what I'm saying. We're in the hamster wheel. They're just going to keep feeding you that bullshit, okay? Instead of actually changing changing things. Spielman needs to go. Cousins needs to go. Spielman and Cousins are attached at the hip, okay? They're a package deal. One of them stays, the other's going to stay. And just like that, it goes down the line. Zimmer is also attached to Spielman. So if Spielman stays, if Cousins stays, they all stay. And the continued medio Minnesota mediocre, me mediocrity will go on and on and on and on. I'm telling you guys, hamster wheel, we're in it, okay? We're in it. If, if people want continued average, averageness, average gameplay, mediocrity of, well, there's always next year. Oh, well, we made the playoffs 
and we won one game. I don't want that. I want them to go all the way, okay? If you want to go all the way, you need to actually make some changes, okay? And this win today, of course, like I said, it's always fun to beat the Packers. It's wonderful. It's fun. I don't like cheering for my team to lose, but I can see the big picture here, Rick. I can see the big picture here. I can see the forest through the trees. Okay, we're going to get a couple of wins, just enough to be like, oh, well, it's fine with Kirk. It's fine with Spielman. He's doing a fine job. Zimmer's fine. We had to deal with a lot of defensive people going down. Zimmer is fine. Hey, guess what? Zimmer's the head coach. He's not the defensive coordinator here. The entire head coach of the entire team, okay? And whether you like it or not, buddy boy, that includes the quarterback and that includes kickers, okay? It just does. So that's my one, that's my worry here with this win today. And um, I mean, we'll, we'll see how the rest of the season goes. And again, I don't like cheering for my team to lose, but I want real change here. Enough is enough. Seriously, I'm sick of the averageness. I'm sick of the eight and eight. I'm sick of wash season. Every single season since I have been a fan has been an utter complete wash. Okay. I want a Super Bowl here. I want them to go all the way. Enough of this like, well, we almost made it. Well, we did enough to almost beat them. Well, if this would have, we, we actually, we almost beat Seattle. Okay. We, we almost beat Green Bay before and now we did beat them. So we, I mean, we're almost there. Just these little tweaks that no, it's excuses. It's the purple carrot dangling is what that is. And that game today was an example of that. I think because the majority of Vikings fans, in my opinion, and Hey, you know, we're all wonderful. We're all great, whatever to each their own. They eat stuff like that up, okay? And the Vikings organization, they know that. They know that. They know that we're still going to be around if we're mediocre, okay? Let's take a stand here. We're not going to stand for this, okay? Aggression. I will not stand, man. This aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> okay? So that's the only, you know, the biggest thing I have with this victory today. The biggest complaint that I have with this victory today is like, in the grand scheme of things, it's just, okay, well, I can see where this team is, is going. Nowhere. They're not making any big changes. Okay, next year, maybe Daniel Hunter will come back and everything else will stay the same. Mediocre. We're never getting to a Super Bowl with number eight under center. Never happening. Point blank. They didn't even want him to throw the ball today. That, too, is why I'm convinced that Cook was in today. I originally thought maybe they had him in so they could showcase him, maybe if they wanted to trade him. They had Dalvin Cook in today because Cook is Kirk Cousins' nook, okay? He's the security blanket. Cousins doesn't want to be thrown the ball. He wants to be attached to his little iPad and watch, you know, watch film footage over and over and over again. He's probably editing his Excel spreadsheet over there. Who the hell knows, okay? But he doesn't want to throw the ball. The team doesn't trust him with the ball. The Kirk Cousins experiment is done. It's over. If he's still the starting quarterback of this team next year, I... If everything, if that's the one move that they can make, the one thing that they can make go away, even though, like I said, him, Spielman, and Zimmer, they're a package deal, okay? But if somehow they can get rid of him, make him go away, okay, he'll still be around. But if that cat is still under center next year, it, it just proves to me this team is totally okay with mediocrity, totally okay with average, Totally okay with, well, there's always next year. Well, we might get to the Super Bowl next year. Well, you know, we made the NFC Divisional playoff game, but, you know, we almost won. But no, almost isn't good enough. Almost doesn't get you there. Okay, I'm done with that. Done. So, anyway, but I digress. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Vikings won today. So, that's always great, like I said, to move um, or to beat the Packers. And um, especially just to kind of twist twist the knife and the cheese a little bit there, you know? It's always fun, but in the grand scheme of things, it's concerning to me, but um, we'll see what happens. There's still, there's still a lot of season to go, still a lot of season to go, and it was just one game, and um, I just wanna encourage everyone, I mean, you can do what you want, you guys, of course. We all have free will, we can do what we want here, but I'm telling you guys, don't get your hopes up here. Don't do it. They're dangling the purple carrots in front of you. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Okay? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Just watch it. Just watch from afar. Don't chase after it. Okay? The realistic realm. I'm telling you guys, 
We got some great real estate over here. We got great real estate available. You got great neighbors. We're awesome. You know, it's, it's nice over here. Your feelings don't get hurt as often. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> what do you guys think now? What do you, what do you guys think now after that win today? What are you feeling? Are you all about, Hey, this is our time. We're coming now after the buy. This is a fresh start. Let's get it popping. You guys are a lot of you thinking that. Okay. Or are you too? Well, okay. Nice win. Always great right to beat the Packers, but still going nowhere. Or is there somewhere in the middle there that I'm missing, but team's going nowhere. And again, it scares me that after today, we're not going to see any big changes. Okay. So we'll see what happens. We got the lions. We're hosting the motor city kitties next week. So, and they lost to the Colts today, I believe pretty badly. I think the last time I looked, it was like 40 to 21. So, um, I know the purple hopeful, well, that's a winnable game for us. <sighs> I want real change here, people. I do. I want it. And that's one more thing too. In that game today, you were winning by 14 points. Why can't you go for it on fourth down? Why? Why are you scared to go for it? Even if you lost the game, you're going nowhere with the season. So that just leads me to believe they actually think that they're going to do something with this season here. And also leads me to believe that Zimmer is trying to save his ass, which, hey, you can't blame him for that, right? But why aren't we throwing to Justin Jefferson? Why aren't we throwing to Irv Smith Jr.? Why aren't we throwing the ball around? Throwing it to Kyle Rudolph, throwing it to Adam Thielen. At this point, if you're not going to throw the ball, why even have Cousins in? Put in Sean Manian. I said keep Cousins in because he's our best quarterback right now to get to get our rookies to play, to get Jeff, Justin Jefferson some reps here. Let's utilize this time, okay? But no, no, still too timid to even do that, okay? It's because they don't trust Cousins to throw the ball. He was 11 for 14 today, 11 for 14, 11 passes. Yeah, that was really worth the, what was it, 84 million, 86 million dollars? Yeah, really worth it, okay? So just saying that if you're going to have him in there, you should be throwing to Justin Jefferson half the time. Okay, let's expedite this. Get him some reps here. Instead, you're just wasting talent, which is another thing that I'm fearful about. But regardless, the Vikings won today, 28 to 22. So let me know what you guys think and you guys always do. So thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back on the live stream maybe next week, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. But thanks again for everybody that popped in and hanging out there and um, for watching the video today too. And of course for subscribing and hanging out and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, me and Randy, okay, it was disgusting. No, it wasn't. Joe, shut it. He's actually, I got the um, Chicago and Saints game on here in the background, so. It's like you get Troy, which is great. I personally love Troy, but then you got the other idiot. That's disgusting. Well, we're mooning you. <laughs> so, me and Randy signing off, I guess, for the day. Grover, Gumby, Prince. All right, we're all here. So, all right, guys. Thanks again for being here. And uh, on to next week. So, a lot of season left. So, all right. The Vikings always manage to keep things a little bit weird, keep things a little bit crazy. It's just the Vikings way. It's the purple way, isn't it? But all right, you guys, uh, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys um, next week. And also, I hope you guys had a great Halloween and a great uh, full moon. I think I said that before, but that's okay to wish that again. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and I will check you guys later. Bye.